Hello everyone, David here, and today I want to work on the different aspects of punching, okay? So, um, basically, people talk about Wing Chun punch, boxing punch, karate punch, right? Uh, those are just different types of, of movements, and I'm going to do that right now with you to explain, first of all, before we get into the Wing Chun punch, okay? So, if I'm in a fighting stance in a neutral bow, and I'm up tight and close, I'm going to drop down and bang, there's my inverted body shot. A lot of people say, oh, that's a boxing, that's an uppercut. It could be, right? But that's what I'm going to use, power range and tight. If I'm in a medium distance, same stance, same uh, person, doesn't matter, right? I'm going to go to a neutral punch, but this is not a Wing Chun punch, it's similar. And I'm in here, right? Bang! I can hit. You can see where you can get a snap to it if you want to. <laughs> right? And then we go to a twist punch. People say, oh, it's karate. The karate does use that. But actually now we're going to go to turning it over. Right? It's a snap punch. Right? And it's all the way over. So I'm going to go out, boom, get the distance, right? Out and back, you can pop, snap it, right, if you want to. Okay, so that is the first one on here as far as the three types of punches, right? We're in tight, right? Medium, right? Longer distance. That's all that's for, okay? And that's from a neutral bow, right? So now we're going to get into a horse stance, okay? A horse stance is actually neutral because in Kenpo, if I turn here, boom, I can go into these bows from a horse and I can punch side to side any way I want, but I'm back in a horse here, right? So karate, right, and their horse, snap, and that's a twist, but you have to remember one is pulling back while the other one goes out, and you wait till you almost get out to the end to snap it, right? So if I want to get a really good snap, I wait right to the end, <coughs> boom, right? So now we're talking about karate punch. You can't really do a Wing Chun punch from here. Even if you're doing that and trying to come out and pull in, it doesn't work too well, okay? So that's why karate front stance is more rigid, right? They use that type of uh, reverse hip snap. Okay, Wing Chun, right here, will use more of a bow. It's not a neutral bow, soft bow like tempo. It's like a goat stance is what they call it, actually. So now, if... I'm in here, I'm, and it's not like Popeye, I'm actually, boom, I can come down right in what you drive out, bang. There's also, you can drive the hips, so from the side, if you look at it, in this bow, right, right, you can rapid fire, if you want to, right, or you can also, boom, and you can see how even from here, pop, pop, I didn't go into a neutral bow, bang, it has what? drive to it, right, or, and it comes down, so that's more Wing Chun, right, using, getting in the hip, all right, so, Kenpo, I do neutral punches, turn them over body, but that's, again, depends on the distance, right, so, I can also shift, strike what, from side to side, come back up, shift my stance, boom, it doesn't matter, it's easy to change direction.